Welcome to Vion Podcast. Today we're diving deep, uh, really deep, beneath the surface of Mars. There's some pretty staggering news about what scientists think might be hidden down there. That's right. It's, um, it's quite something. We're looking at evidence, pretty strong evidence, of a massive water reservoir trapped way, way below the Martian crust. Okay, hold on. Massive. Like, how massive are we talking? Well, potentially huge. Enough water, maybe, to cover the entire planet. Like a global ocean's worth hidden underground. An ocean under Mars. Seriously, how how could they even figure that out? Yeah, it sounds wild, I know. It comes from data gathered by NASA's InSight Lander. Ah, InSight. The one listening from Mars Quakes, right? Exactly. It listens <laughs> to the seismic waves, you know, the planet's vibrations as they travel through its interior. And by analyzing how those waves moved, how they bounced around or slowed down, scientists could map out this... Uh, this large zone deep in the crust that seems to be saturated with liquid water. So it's like using sound waves to see underground. <laughs> Precisely. A bit like an ultrasound for a planet. It pointed to this huge volume of fractured rock filled with liquid water. Wow. Okay, so not just ice, but actual liquid water. And that scale, now that's a game changer for, well, for thinking about life, isn't it? Absolutely. That's the really exciting part. Because this water is so deep, it's shielded from all the harsh radiation bombarding the Martian surface. Right. The surface is pretty hostile. Very. But down there, conditions could be uh, much more stable. We know on Earth, life can thrive deep underground, away from sunlight, in water. And the natural subsurface warmth at those depths on Mars could, theoretically, keep this water liquid. It might be a long-term, stable habitat. A habitat. So, potential microbial life tucked away deep inside Mars? It's a definite possibility, yeah. The conditions seem plausible, at least for microbes. Okay, that's incredible. But you mentioned it's deep. Just how deep are we talking? Like, can we get to it? Ah, well, that's the catch. It's really deep. We're talking something like uh, 7.2 to 12.4 miles down. Miles. Wait, 7 to 12 miles? Yep. Or 11.5 to 20 kilometers. For context, that's you know, way deeper than the deepest oceans on Earth or any hole humans have ever drilled. Okay, wow. So finding it is one thing, but actually accessing it, that sounds almost impossible right now. It's a, um, a truly formidable engineering challenge. Drilling that deep on Earth is hard enough, let alone remotely on another planet. Yeah, I can imagine. But uh, scientists are clever. They're thinking about alternatives. Maybe look at areas with more recent tectonic activity. Like fault lines or something. Exactly. Places like Cerberus Fossey, for instance. The idea is that maybe geological forces in these active zones could naturally push some of this deep water closer to the surface or even expel it. Ah, so let Mars itself do some of the excavation work for us. Sort of, yeah. It's an intriguing possibility anyway. A potential shortcut, maybe. It just underlines how much we still don't know about Mars, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And finding water, especially liquid water. Well, that's always the big one for life and for, you know, future human visits. Absolutely. Water is key for potential biology. Yes, but also just as a resource, if humans ever set up camp there long term. It really makes you wonder then if there's this colossal hidden ocean, what other resources, what other secrets might Mars still be keeping deep beneath its red dust? Hmm. That's the question, isn't it? What else is down there? Definitely gives you something to think about. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.